An update now. Shortly before Christmas, we shared the story of Max Morgett as he was set to undergo his fourth brain surgery after being diagnosed with brain cancer for the fifth time. This morning, we have a look at his recovery. Post surgery, they were calling me the beast. Doctors were amazed by the success of the surgery. I was fully prepared to wake up that afternoon with all sorts of disabilities. 28-year-old Max Morgett was told he could wake up from surgery without being able to use the right side of his body, going into the operation just two days before Christmas. The heavy emotions came from saying, I love you to both my parents and my wife and my daughter. It's a process he's been through before, diagnosed with brain cancer for the first time at the age of three. This latest time marking surgery number four, always in the same spot, the area that controls movement on his right side. Because of advancements in medicine, this time Max would be awake for most of the 11 hour surgery. When the surgeons are poking around in your brain, you don't have any pain receptors on your actual brain. Talking and even moving during the procedure, even after doctors removed the portion of his brain that controls movement on his right side. The neurosurgeons were expecting me to not be able to do this in surgery, but yet I was. Leaving doctors stunned and surprised. The working theory is early on, my brain found the ability to find another pathway to reconnect with my right side. Saying maybe because his first surgery was at the age of three, his brain found another way. My brain rewired itself. Max is still relying on physical therapy to regain strength on his right side. This also includes mentally training his brain to recognize what that looks like. My story is really out there. He's also working on starting a Max Your Brain podcast to share more about his experience as a cancer survivor. I feel like I cheated the brain cancer experience. And get this, Max was back at work just two and a half weeks after surgery. When we spoke with him before his surgery, he told us his greatest fear was losing movement on his right side and not being able to hold his baby son, who's due to be born next month. It looks like that will not be an issue.